This is the new CASA Performance Education that's going, literally going into production now. Now, the points that the guys have been working on is to try and provide a casing which is a lot more robust, bigger, and we had to take a lot bigger CC, uh, more powerful engine barrels and barrel kits than anything that's ever been produced before. After we had a lot of problems with engine mounts breaking on the Castle and Rat bikes during the ESC uh, challenge, the Scooter Cup challenge, we've worked a lot on this area here to try and get the thickest possible area for the engine mounts, make them as solid as possible. The, obviously the engine mount, the bump stop will be going on to here and then as you go over here the two cases are bolted together there will be a easily accessible flywheel cowl around this end with TV1 type externally facing screws and as you go around to the front we've tried to do it so you've got the biggest possible gasket face area of any Lambrat case in this ever been made. Now this has been machined to take a standard Lambrat barrel because for the BSSO regulations we need to make sure that it will take obviously the standard barrel but the four indentations on the outside are where the new barrels will be fitted as well these are external studs they will be air cooled and liquid cooled versions in various strokes and cranks and sizes uh, basically this will take anything that is currently available on the market including the 305 barrel if needed going around this side what we've done is um, we, we thought about doing an accessible oil seal on the dry side and then decided against it simply because if your oil seals are right why should you need to change it if you do a maintenance anyway this is such an easily accessible engine having a split casing around here and all the bolts it's very easy to access so there was no point in doing it in our opinion going around the bottom here the gasket face is slightly larger than the original there's more meat around the gearbox area the recess uh, this is actually cone shaped here as well for ad added strength on this back section this has been a section that's always had a massive problem with lambrette cases where the pin has come out of the crank uh, the kickstart shaft and then gone through the back of the case and this has now been heavily reinforced going around the back if we spin the casing over in the this area here is totally different now what we're doing is the gear selection shaft that goes into the engine this will have a bearing inside it now uh, similar to the, the, the Vespa cover on the back this has been machined this can take an option of two brake units one is a simple dust proof uh, dust cover with back plate with two brake shoes with the stand this will be machined down through here the same operating cam but the brake shoes we that we've worked out the system where well, they both open as per motorbikes externally and not just from one pivot point alternatively you can have a back plate with a hydraulic rear disc using this for the caliper fixing and on the other side as well so basically you have a choice of brakes going around on the underside it's pretty much the same as the top we, we, we took out the ribbon uh, there wasn't really any need for it um, but the case in itself when it's finished we, we will be supplied with a specifically made crankshaft with the course and size of your choice and the bearings um, the price will be a lot lot cheaper than what people are thinking this will be an affordable case giving people the maximum possibility to have a maximum cc a very powerful engine without breaking the bank